There. You want to know who you look like right now? Hmm. There was that uh, home improvement, the neighbor next door, peeking over the top of the fence. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> All righty. Well, only one baby so far today, but we're bedding down pens. Everything got bedded down, except for that one. It's Maggie's pen. I know it's Maggie's pen. And we didn't finish. It needs to be tweaked. It needs to be tweaked? You mean cleaned? No, tweaked. What do you mean by tweaked? Because the cows push on the door and they get away. Not if it's hooked, they don't. It has to be hooked. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't have a bottom. No, you're not breaking it. Hurt now. But this one got done. Back there where the kitty is on the wall, that's all done. She's on the wall looking for mice and birds. Way back there. Oh. Fluffy is out there. Fluffy. The fluffy one. The fluffy one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I haven't got my phone fixed. The camera for the other way around on the back side, it still has moisture in it. He dropped it in the toilet. <laughs> He's having a big turd. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> well, it's like a toilet. It's a water tank. Um, maybe, depending on what calving is like, if we head into the city, I'll see about getting it a new lens put over top of the camera part. So, yeah. Phone sauce, tell and see if you have warranty. I don't. I already know that. You don't pay for warranty? No. I figured the phone would last me two years, and that's when my contract is up. Your name is BP. <laughs> Gives me a reason to get a new phone, right? Mm -hmm. I'm actually due for a new one right now. End of March. No, May. Hmm? May, I thought. March. So... We're ready for the next flush of cows to calve. Our heifer that rejected her fucking calf, that bitch. I love her to death, but I hate her right now. Miss Eight. Uh, when she dropped her baby, if I didn't say so in a previous video, when she dropped her baby, b fucked up my shoulder. Everything's just going to hell in a hand basket but anyway uh she was licking crooked faces baby and she totally ignored her own and now she want, thinks that crooked faces baby is hers and she'll let her baby suck if we put it in the head gate how about that but we're on day two here now so we'll see what happens as time goes on anyway don't think i'm going to be doing much videoing until the camera gets fixed so bear with us We'll talk to you guys all later. Morning, everybody. Quarter after four in the morning, 4.30, something like that. I know you can't really make it out, but it looks like something right there. Let's see if we do this. No, that's even worse. But without me walking right up to it, that's the water tank. I started a fire in the water tank last night because it's like minus 28 outside right now. Still have yet to, yeah, camera's getting frosty because there's still moisture in it. But anyways, it's Tuesday, March 26th. And, uh, well, that just really makes it bad. But anyways, the fire is still fucking going. It's still smoking. What I pointed out to you earlier was the tank 
is still uh it's still burning the wood is still burning in there i did have it relatively full could have put a lot more in it but uh it was a good three quarters full so i'm getting it's still burning i'm basically getting 12 hours of burn time which i think is just totally fucking awesome anyways I'm going in and I'm gonna have a coffee. We'll catch y'all later. Alrighty guys, how the hell are you guys doing today? Just because of the direction of sunlight and so on and so forth, your my camera's all kind of buggered up. But if you look close, see that? There's still hot embers in here. I just stirred the ashes up and there's hot embers inside this tank. It is currently four o'clock in the afternoon. I started a fire in this tank. What the hell is that noise? Just an old fucking jalopy. Oh, the drunk is going by. Anyway, I started a fire in this water tank yesterday afternoon at 5 p.m. And there's still hot embers in here. And it's still, like, on the inside of the tank here, it's warm. Well, there's got to be if there's hot embers, right? But I'm just going to load her up here because last night it was minus 28. Tonight it's supposed to be minus 26. So I'm going to fire the sucker up. Uh, we're burning elm, so that might make a difference too. It wasn't right full of wood last night. But uh, I'm going to fill it up the same way tonight, right now, as I did last night. And I'll bring you back and show you how full it's going to be. Talk to you then. I'm not right full, but I'm a good three quarters. 80% full of wood. We got the fire going. Smoke coming out the chimney. Door shut, dampers open. We got one little kaffir in here. Well, actually, two. They're not feeling too fucking shit hot with these. Like minus five in the afternoon. Uh, today it's minus eight, but wind chill of minus 15. And then dropping to minus 20. Uh, wind chill of 28 to 30 in the evenings. These up and down days is raising havoc, raising havoc with these little gaffers. I got one that we treated this morning. And I have to take a walk and find him. And I think I got a second one that I'm going to be treating here right away. Some of them are starting to use the calf shelter. And sleep on the bed, spa, bed down pack area a little bit. But there's a couple of them that like laying. See that little bump right there? That's a calf. And see this guy right here? He just laid down. He just plopped right down on the cold ground instead of going to the straw where it's going to be warmer. And I also had one lay right in the middle of the fucking ice. What? You little shit. Huh? What? Pretty soon, guys, we'll have a, hopefully, better picture quality coming to you. Hey, you. This little guy right here, he got a shot this morning. That's his mama. But, yeah, he got a shot of Resflor this morning. 
Thursday he'll get a second shot. So yeah, it's uh, I love seeing them run around and play and when they're happy and healthy, but when they get a little bit sickly, this pneumonia thing, that's not good. Anyway, I'm going to let you all go. We'll bring you back in a little while. Maybe not even today, maybe tomorrow. Just wanted to let you know how the water tank is doing. So it was still warm, basically 24 hours. So you can't complain with that, right? Talk to you all later. Alrighty guys, how's it going today? It is March, Wednesday, March uh, the 27th, I believe. I was at the barn at well, 10.30 last night. I was at the barn at 4 o'clock this morning. Nothing at 10.30. At 4 o'clock, black cow, orange 27, had a nice big black heifer calf. Uh, red cow, I call her a blonde cow. Orange 3, CP's cow that we had in video the other day. Um... She had a blonde bull calf. CP just came to the barn to do a quick check. It's uh, 8 o'clock. And she's saying that there's two more calves born. One of them she figures is off a heifer. And not sure who had the other one. So... Let's find out what's going on. Bring you guys back in a little bit. Alrighty guys, so, Orange 27 here. She had a baby that's one at four o'clock this morning. Orange 3 here. She had a monster. So 27 had a black heifer. Orange 3 had a red bull, and he's a monster. Sure a yeah, I'm sure it's a bull. That wouldn't make CP very happy, but he's huge. Anyways, and then in between a quarter to five when I left the barn, and eight o'clock, Red, and I can't remember her ear tag number. What does she got? I didn't even look. Heifer. Her, she had a black little heifer calf. And that's off our Angus bull. And look at this. Finally. He is sucking. She is not kicking. She is letting him go to town on her own. Go fucking figure. This is the third day. I think she wants everybody's baby. Yeah, she kind of wants everybody's baby. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, he's big. Like he's half half the height of the cow almost. Anyways, let's go have our coffee. Breakfast. What's for breakfast? I don't know. What are you cooking? <laughs> <laughs> My phone's been ringing. I have no idea who's trying to phone me. Thanks, babe. It was minus 26 last night again. And I gotta go open the lid on the water tank. And it's supposed to warm up today to minus three or minus four. That's what's making our babies feel a little shitty. It's this warm cold, warm cold.
Oh, the lid on the water tank is open. So it's probably, I forgot to close it. Normally I close it every night, but I guess I never did it last night. It's probably empty. Well, it's em more or less empty, but it's not frozen. And that's steamy, so that's hot. I'll close it now. Lots of hotness in there. Warm my hand up. That's a hot box. Have fun getting a calf in there though. You'd definitely cook them in there. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. We're gonna go have our breakfast, our coffee, and we'll talk to y'all later. Oh yes, I forgot to say, black cow, orange 56, old ear tag, yellow 17. Uh, she also calved this morning. So CP was right, there's four, but there wasn't four in the barn. There was only three in the barn. The fourth one is outside in the windbreak corral. She just had it. What it is, I don't know. I'll leave her alone for a while and uh, let her settle and then we'll deal with her. Right, Betty? Right. Yeah. You're what? Letting your horses out? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hurry your butt up. Hurry my butt up. So, yeah, we have had four calves this morning already. I anticipate one or two more because we went two days with nothing. So, anyways, I want to let you guys go. Enjoy your coffee this morning. She's a big mama. Well, she's to be mama. Anyways, it's been a busy one. I don't know what it is. Heifers, it's common to have when you got a heifer that goes to calve and she gets mixed up on what calf is hers and so on and so forth but to have a cow that is just starting to go into labor kind of sort of it actually she went over the cow that calved in this corral this morning in our outside windbreak corral we had a red cow that just came over about noon because these girls get locked in here till noon. Then I kick them out and they eat. Then they get ba brought back in and locked in again. Anyway, this one red cow went over and started trying to mother that calf. We've had a few of them that have tried mothering somebody else's calf and they haven't calved themselves yet. And that red cow, still has not calved. She's gonna calve. She's at the round bale. I just kicked her out of the barn so she could drink and get a little bit to eat. See that one with her tail up? That's her. Anyways. Close this. Oh, come on, BP. There we go. We've had uh, five so far today. And when that cow calves, then it'll be six. That'll be our biggest calving day so far.
weekend. I was at a doctor's appointment for my shoulder. He's thinking possibly. He's thinking possibly I tore something in my fucking shoulder. So this girl, she calved. Her calf is behind her. This one, he's doing a lot better. But he's got a long way to go before he's 100%. On this side of the barn, Orange 27 here, she calved this morning. She had a little black heifer down there. In here, our red heifer, we call her six, yellow six, but she's actually a 118K. She had a little black heifer baby. And also black. Uh, 113, if I believe, K, had a black little baby too. And they've all been sucking. They're, they've all, they're all on. And this girl, this morning you guys saw her. She was doing fine. This afternoon, she's being complete biatch again. Wouldn't let the baby suck. So, back in the head gate. Now you're out, you goofy biatch. With my luck, I'll need this fucking pen for that big red cow outside because I'll have to pull a calf. Anyways, Tristan is here. It's 4.30 going on 5 o'clock. And uh, I'm going to go have a coffee with him. I'm supposed to be at a friggin' meeting tonight, but that might not happen. Give us the old thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. Catch y'all later. Alrighty, guys. There. Finally. 7 o'clock in the evening. And Orange 25, I believe, is her number. Had herself a black heifer. CP and I just got done assisting her. Wasn't a hard pull by any means, but there was a foot down. One front foot was dropped down. And she just she just started doing something at 6 o'clock. And then uh, just watch her. She's okay. So all is good. She's going to town. Good mama. Licking baby off. Now for my heifer that belongs in here. Which is right there. Come on, little one. Let's go. Hey, you go in that pen. I don't want you in this plain dirt. Okay, fine, I'll put baby in there and then you'll come in. Whoop. There you go. There you go. There we go. All straightened out. Okay. You guys have yourselves a good evening. Talk to y'all later.